You know, Tony, you, you've been involved in training some of uh, the uh, elite, elite combatants in the world, you know, personal protection, SEALs, uh, law enforcement, uh, elite people. So, you know, an oh shit moment, it's an oh shit moment. And, 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 and discuss with us sort of the, the tools and, 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 the, and the methodologies you, you've used over years for people to control their fear and not let their fear control them. Interesting question. Um, you, you, you know, like they say in, in Jiu Jitsu, <coughs> um, positions everything, right? And, and so the guy who wants to take his, his, his fighting skills, whether it's Jiu Jitsu, MMA, and so on and so forth, to the next level, what he needs to do is he needs to understand mental positions too. And, uh, you know, so we've got this kind of like visualize a ticker tape running across, you know, and you're fighting, you're doing stuff. You could be, you could be in a clinch, you could be uh, in somebody's guard, you could have somebody in your guard, and you know whether things are working or not. We term that for performance psychology, desirable and less desirable. So, um, you know, desirable, less desirable, it, it doesn't have to be perfect. You just know when you're dominating. So there's three arsenals that you always need to cultivate, emotional, psychological, and physical. And this ties back to another one of uh, our, our little interviews on, uh, you know, on mindset and how you feel affects how you think. So how you feel is your emotional arsenal, how you think is your psychological arsenal. So you can have the best mantra in the world, but if underneath emotionally you're shitting your pants, it doesn't matter you know, that your coach and you came up with a great game plan. You know, if you look like Michael Spinks walking into the ring to fight Mike Tyson, you know, you know uh, shit, if you bet on Michael Spinks as he was walking up to the ring, you went, oh, I, lost, I just lost all my money. Because you can see that fear uh, and he's already defeated. So, uh, you know, the, the physiological effects, and that's why we always talk about that the psychology of fear is less important than, the, or sorry, the biology of fear, the adrenaline, the sweaty palms, the, you know, they're legendary fighters, uh, politicians, actors who get such stage fright, they throw up before they go to their event, but you would never know. So, you know, that's how their, their physiological response handles it. They throw up, they have their little emotional moment, and then and they go out and you would never know that Laurence, uh, you know, Olivier, uh, one of the greatest actors ever, you know, had an incredible stage fight. You would know when you watch Tyson fight that allegedly he, would, he cried and threw up, you know, before he came out. So. Uh, but the more our, where we go a step further is, is, is we get into the psychology of fear. We've got a map called the cycle of behavior that explains how we make decisions under duress. And it's just like a map. I mean, how when you're driving somewhere and you suddenly realize you're lost, you don't ever feel good. You don't ever go, I'm, I'm glad I'm lost. I hope I run out of gas. You know, maybe, maybe I'll find some guys with banjos to you know, tell me where to go from here. So, so what you have is you need to have a mental map. And your mental map's your position. It's it's your it's your personal GPS, and you need to be able to assess in a fight. You know, um, oh, sorry about that, guys. Um, you need to assess in a fight. Uh, is this working right now? Is my strategy working? Is this uh, a, a tactic working, or do I need to change position? But the mind navigates the body, so the only way you can make that shift is if you have the self coaching ability to to in real time say you need to move now, you need to change this now. And to me, that's all, uh, you know, that's all fear management, the, you know, your expectations and the outcome and, uh, and how you direct your brain.